Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and uh, amidst all these disasters, contrived disasters by our treasonous criminal leaders, I am still trying to persevere and uh, carry out anti-gravity experiments and free energy experiments and other things, among my other videos that I make. And uh, I figured I'd just make a quick update here. So here is uh, my tiny essay, Spectrum Analyzer. I forget how much this cost. I think maybe about $100. And um, I have made a video on that, if you're interested. Very cool device. And here is a high voltage generator. I provide free uh, STL files to make this, and I show how to do it. Uh, I measured this. Uh, this is a 400,000 volt uh 400,000 quote-unquote Chinese volts uh, voltage mult, uh, DC to DC converter and I measured it with one of my high voltage power supplies in another one of my videos and it is about 12,000 volts or so and I'm using a 18650 uh, lithium ion battery to power it very cool handheld device and here's a new device that I bought. I wanted to have some higher power for my disc generators. This is a CD coated with the uh, aluminum tape. And this thing, I can turn it on and it spins at three different speeds. So I can, let's see, two, three, and I'll leave a link for that too if you're interested in um, buying one of these guys. If you buy it through my link, it helps out my channel. I'm an Amazon, uh, what do you call it, affiliate. And so they give me a small uh, bonus if, if you buy it through my link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps me out. Okay, so anyway, much appreciated. Um, so let's, let's give this a shot. So I was uh, working with this disk generator, and I discovered this. And uh, well, I was doing other experiments too, but I thought you might find this interesting. We'll get the disk generator going, and I'll turn on the high voltage supply. And watch what happens when I touch the high voltage supply to this guy. It creates super, super broadband noise across the whole spectrum. Look at that. And this again is from uh, 0 megahertz to three, or 350 megahertz. So this is the low band. When I take it off, the signal, it auto scales, so the signal drops. But you can see that the signal jump way up. Broadband RF noise across the whole spectrum. Very cool, huh? I got a little antenna there. See the antenna here is to pick up uh, the RF spectrum. I'm just running it on low speed because I don't want to push things. This is a very cool device. It's charged by USB. Small handheld. I'll be making some more videos about this guy. Um, let's take the spectrum analyzer. It actually has um, two different frequency bands. So we have it on the low band because why not start with the low. But uh, I can put the antenna on the high side here and I'll switch at the high side. And we'll just do this experiment again with the uh, high band frequencies. Okay. I get this thing hooked up, and again, this thing, this uh, little spectrum analyzer comes with a pen. I don't have it out right now, but let me see, see if I can remember. I think it's mode switch to high N. Okay, so now I have the antenna on high N. Looks like it's picking up all sorts of other noise around here. Okay, come on. And again, um, I'm trying to replicate, uh, I believe his name is Alexei, he's from Russia. And he had uh, two discs, counter-rotating, charged oppositely, uh, producing anti-gravity. And I had some other sources told me that uh, that also was supposed to produce an anti-gravity effect. Uh, along with um, high-voltage Tesla coil and ultrasound generators, which will oscillate the field and produce, I believe, high-frequency gravity waves. Anyway, so I'm still looking into each of the components and trying to study them and put them together. And we'll get our disk generator running again. And let's turn on our high voltage. 
and it looks like it is producing oh it's actually arcing right through even though I have a little insulator brake that just charges up and it looks like it's producing broadband noise all the way up in the spectrum because see the that's shifting down and so this is almost to a gigahertz it's like uh, 240 megahertz so it's got a little overlap at the bottom end up to 960 980 maybe megahertz and it's definitely producing broadband RF noise all the way up to almost a gigahertz I would say Maybe not quite there, but maybe it is. Look at that, because it looks like even the gigahertz range is coming up. Minus 70. Yeah, see, it's minus, uh, what is that? Uh, 70, 80, 90, and it's almost minus 100 at the gigahertz range. Now I put this on, it goes up to around minus 70. I don't know if you can see that very well. But definitely producing broadband RF noise must be a great jammer huh and beef it up in power maybe I should get out my radio and see how it sounds okay, let's turn this guy off okay very cool huh Very cool. Okay. Okay, so here's a little FM AM radio that I was using for some testing my anti-gravity stuff when I had the opportunity to talk to the infamous John Hutchison. He mentioned that this is one of the tools that he uses because he said he knew he was uh, tuning everything in properly for the anti-gravity field when it would produce a huge amount of noise on the radio. Okay, and so... Let's try to find a channel here. God's help, perhaps like never before. Oh, there we go. Here's a channel. Okay. Yeah, it sure does. Especially that psychopath Bill Gates and the WHO and all these other super criminals. <laughs> and the totalitarian censorship and everything. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Let's turn on our disc generator. Get it going. And we will turn on a high voltage generator. I can definitely hear a noise coming through on the radio. So this this thing's producing a high frequency whir also because it has some kind of um, inverter in there. So I turn that on, it messes up the radio, and then when I put this on, you get broadband static. Very cool, huh? It's, uh, you know, um, let me turn this off. Okay, so anyway, for those of you who uh, study UFOs, which I've studied pretty much my whole life, uh, they do produce a huge amount of radio interference and uh, interfere with electronic operations. And so this would be uh, consistent with what we're looking at here. This thing definitely generates a lot of uh, EMP, RF noise, and other garbage that does interfere with our radio here. Okay, anyway, thought you might find this interesting. This is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.